I'm Morgan from Packhacker, and in this video, we're taking a look at the Alpaca Bravo tote bag, which I've been testing for two weeks. If you find this video helpful, hit subscribe so that we can continue making content that helps you travel smarter. Let's jump in. Starting off with the outside of this tote pack, which they call it because it is a combination tote and backpack. You can see that the front is very minimal. It has like a basic blank face, except this one pocket right here. The material is made from an Axel Flux recycled fabric, Poly 300D, and it's very rugged, but it's like somewhat soft to the touch. It's very comfortable to hold and kind of just throw around and use, but very, protective and feels durable to the point where I wouldn't be concerned about anything like water or like food or drinks, anything like that getting spilled on top of it. It can just be like wiped off really easily. In addition to the material, the YKK zippers and this AquaGuard around them help ensure that anything inside stays protected from the weather as well, which is really nice. There are dual zippers on this front pocket and then as well, two more on the top that extend basically right here. There are no exterior attachment points except for these two on the back. And they're like basically just like small nylon webbing. And this is designed to help it, the backpack straps attached to this when you wanna use it in backpack mode. But I'll talk about that in a second. The only other External features on this bag really are the grab handles at the top. So like I mentioned before, it is a combination tote and backpack. And so in tote mode, there are magnets here that you can kind of like pull together. They don't like click or connect really. They kind of just, just stay together basically. It was, was okay to hold. It, is not like the most comfortable just because it's not super padded. This is basically just nylon webbing, but it definitely works well. And so the fact that it's positioned on the very outside of the, like the perimeter of the bag, and then it's on both sides of the zipper meant that when you hold it in this mode, it just sits or it stands straight up, which I found really, really easy to use and like walk with specifically. The only downside that I really experienced in tote mode is that it's a little long. And so I'm a little bit taller, so I didn't have any issues with anything dragging the ground. These tote handles are somewhat short for like a traditional tote, I think, but they do like a decent job. They're very easy to like grab and especially like if I'm picking the back up just to kind of reorient it or get something out of it really quickly, it's really easy to just grab these by the handle. The other mode, backpack mode, is done with deployable backpack straps right here that sit in this specific pocket right behind. And so these are nicely padded and they can be deployed really easily with just a little carabiner that clicks right here. I found that these were super easy to use and the, the straps themselves are pretty padded so they're very comfortable. I never had any issues with them like digging into my shoulder or being uncomfortable. And so on here, you can also see there's like an alpaca logo and two Hypolon attachment points, which work well for their um, ecosystem for like attaching stuff. Or you can use just like a regular carabiner or hero clip here as well. Let's see. And then finally, there's a luggage pass through right here on the back. So you just sit this on top of your roller luggage and it sits straight up, which I'm always a fan of. So nothing falls out. This is what it looks like on. As you can see, it's standard backpack. The shoulder straps are easy to adjust and they have strap keepers, which is always nice. And let's see, in tote mode, it's very easy to just kind of hold it and it's, like I said, somewhat comfortable. It's not like the most comfortable, so I wouldn't like use this mode a lot, but going from like point A to point B or throwing this in my car was really, really helpful and really easy to have these handles just to throw around the bag or it's even easier to go from like tote mode to backpack mode. It doesn't really require anything. So I just 
I found myself leaving the backpack straps attached no matter what. And this was like the default mode that I would use it in. And then occasionally, tote mode. So despite its minimalistic appearance, it does have a decent amount of secondary compartments. The first I'll start with is a small water bottle holder here that can also be used for an umbrella. They say it can hold like a thin to medium, like small or medium sized water bottle, which I found to be accurate. This is just like a small, like 20 ounce water bottle. This pocket doesn't have any stretch or anything like that. So you can't like get away with the sticking like a bigger water bottle in it. This one is really designed for like an umbrella or like a smaller water bottle. And at the very bottom here, there are drainage holes for if you do put an umbrella here or you have a water bottle that sweats, it'll just kind of sip or sink through here and it won't stay inside this pocket, which I found like a very nice touch. Let's see, the front compartment here has the dual zippers. They don't come down very far considering that this pocket comes all the way down here. That is something that I thought would be annoying at first, but I like the way that they approach this organization by keeping most of the organization panel up at the front or up at the top, and then having the bottom kind of function as like a regular dump site. That way, whatever you put in the bottom doesn't interfere with the organization at the top. Inside, you can see they have like this honeycomb lining, which is always aesthetically pleasing. And then in right here, folding this back, you can see a very small, mesh pocket with a zipper and inside i just have a pair of AirPods and some chapstick and so this is not super stretchy i think this was more so designed for smaller items and i definitely agree with that there's a key leash here which is like a decent length actually but it is magnetic so it can be attached super easily it's somewhat satisfying click and then aside from that, there are two more or three more pockets. These two, there's like a medium sized slip pocket and then a small slip pocket. I have just my wallet in this one. And then there's also a pen holder or for a stylus in the middle. These do not stretch at all, but I do like that they have the like accent to kind of help distinguish where the pocket begins. That's super helpful. The pockets themselves, like I said, don't stretch. So it's pretty much like whatever fits in here. You can't really like overpack these because they're very tough. Aside from that, there is one more quick access pocket, which took me a, a while to realize actually. I didn't notice it at first. Right here in between the backpack straps and the main compartment zipper is a little quick access pocket and it is secured by magnets. And inside I just have my iPhone 15 Pro Max. It fits a decent amount of size or a decent amount in here. I would say it comes down to like here and is like that big. So it's a pretty nice compartment, especially for storing like a phone. And I also had my wallet in there a couple of times for quick access. And I found that it was super easy to get into, especially in tote mode, because because it's kind of hidden, it's not, like very noticeable. So I just like, like grab my phone or grab my wallet really quickly and it stayed pretty much like out of sight, out of mind, which I found was pretty nice. Let's see. And the only other aspect of this pocket is I will say there's no like inner lining. So there's no like plush material inside. It's basically the same fabric on the outside. So I would be careful putting like sunglasses in here just because there's no padding either. And because it's a little flat, it might crush your sunglasses. So something to keep in mind. Moving on to the main compartment with these dual zips that come about right here. This is kind of where there's the like main capacity for this bag is. Inside it, it pretty much, it sits pretty flat, I will say, but it can expand a little bit. I found throwing like a jacket in here was pretty easy. In addition to like my work stuff like laptop, tech pouch, etc. It can fit a 16 inch pro MacBook, sorry, 16 inch MacBook Pro easily. And it also has a, another slip pocket for like a tablet or a notebook. This has a nice plush lining to help make sure that it stays scratch 
free and it's the same on this side as well which is really nice usually i only see it on like one side and then like i said i have a tech pouch in this slip pocket right here which goes all the way down and then it has this to just kind of keep everything in this pocket secure so if it like goes upside down nothing falls out or anything like that which is a nice touch opposite of that is a another zippered pocket right here this one's like similar to the one on the front compartment but just like a little bit bigger it has a zipper and it is also not super stretchy and it is kind of have like a softer material it's not plush and it's not mesh but it's like a little bit softer than this like honeycomb lining and inside I just have like a little notebook but it's pretty spacious you can fit like a decent amount of like uh storage in here i would put like hard drives stuff like that and then finally there's another water bottle pocket located in here as well and so i think this was designed as a water bottle pocket but you could really just kind of put anything in here it kind of just sections it off to keep it like in here but like organized and from flailing around it goes all the way to the bottom and i did i was able to fit a nalgene bottle in here and a 32 ounce owala sip without any issues there's it's really just like a, a band that goes around it in order to keep the contents of it like sitting right like a water bottle below there is no like pouch or anything like that so if you put smaller items in here it will just kind of fall into the overall like main compartment aside from that this is basically just like a nice area to store bigger items in the only other thing that i will know is that if you have a water bottle pocket or a water bottle in the water bottle pocket on the outside or an umbrella as you can see it does kind of like eat at the storage inside of here so that's this right here so there you have it, the Alpaca Bravo Tote Pack. Thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel. We'll see you in the next video.